tonight to bless the King of Kings. Uh, allow your soul tonight to exalt him, to magnify the great King, uh, the Lord who is, who was, and who shall come. Yes, his kingdom shall reign forever. Mazela bo shata baboza, ripo talibo shanta. Tonight we exhort you. Tonight we are grateful. Tonight we say thank you. Adonai, we love you. Elohim, we exhort you. Jehovah Jireh, we thank you. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, we exhort you tonight. We are so, so grateful for many things, uh, good things. Uh, the Lord God, uh, you have done unto our lives. Uh, we are grateful even for every bad moment uh, that we have gone through. Thank God for every incident uh, that you, are, you have undergone this year. Thank God for the good times and for the bad times. Uh, for he who allowed you, he who allowed you to go through those tribulations, uh, to go even through those pains, uh, he is uh, he is the one uh, who will make you to rejoice. Uh, thank you because we will no longer eat. Uh, then brand of sorrow, repose la bahanda, repeke zota. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, for you are increasing our greatness. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, you are comforting us uh, on every side. Rila uh, pazota, by the authority of your word, uh, you are lifting us up uh, from the depths of the earth. Eh, uh, sharapa kazota. Can you thank the Lord? Uh, where pain and buried you, where affliction and buried you, where circumstances uh, and situations uh, and buried you, the Lord is calling you out. Uh, the Lord is lifting you out uh, from that pit. Uh, he is the one who lifted Joseph out of the pit uh, where his brothers and thrown him. He is the one who lifted up uh, even Daniel. From the den of lions, uh, he is the one uh, who calmed him out of prison and in the living uh, Lift your voice tonight, uh, whatever had covered your life, uh, anything that had, had covered your family, whatever situation had covered your progress uh, and your breakthrough, the Lord uh, is revealing you, the Lord uh, is manifesting you. Mazota Bashamta, only believe in Ama, only believe in Ama, only believe in Ama, repose Taraboshaya, repose Talabashaya. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. A Santa Man who may cool panda way to burn, who may cool a muema quetu, who may to a zesha, who may to name mesha, Wakatu to Liskia Kato Ishuanangufu, Ulifanikangufu Zetu, Ripandele Bozaya. Tonight we bless you. Tonight we thank you for the rains. We thank you, Lord, for the rains in our nation. We thank you even because of the parts uh, that have not received the rain. Uh, because, Lord, uh, you are opening heavens above them and they are receiving rains. Uh, oh, thank you for the abundance. Uh, thank you for restoring this nation. You are restoring this nation to our place, uh, the place of revival, the place of revival, the place of gospel, of the truth uh, to be preached. Uh, Thank you because of men and women uh, that you are raising, that you are lifting up. Uh, can you pray tonight uh, that you'll be among the people that Lord is using uh, in the latter days. Uh, you'll be among the people that God is raising uh, to, to meet uh, to meet the needs of the kingdom. You'll be among the people that the Lord is raising and lifting up. Uh, to reach out to the lost, uh, to reach out to the lost, uh, that you'll be among the people that the Lord is anointing, uh, even economically, in Jesus' mighty name. We love you, Father. We exalt you, Jesus. We say thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Have your will, Lord. Have your will, even through the ministry of your word. Speak to us. 
in a way that you will be able to understand. Let every spirit of dimension die. Let every spirit of familiarity die. Let every spirit of disobedience die. Let everything that is not of you in us die from the root. And let us manifest in your will, in your plan and purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. And we believe somebody say amen. amen. Can you celebrate Jesus tonight? Hallelujah. You can do better to him. Glory, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may have your seat. This is the fellowship of daughters. So uh, make sure that you occupy the front seat. And uh, God is going to bless you. You can also appreciate uh, Zion Trumpeters. God bless you mightily for allowing him to use you. Uh, it is always very important uh, to honor what God has honored. Quickly, in our Bibles, First Samuel, First Samuel, chapter 1, and verse 17, this is what the word says. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. I went using another version. New Living Translation says, In that case, Eli said, Go in peace. May the God of Israel grant the request you have asked of him. I want us to hear the word of God tonight. Uh, turning the word of God into a testimony. Turning the word of God into a a testimony. God can speak. He can reveal his word. He can release his word. And uh, it is within us to take that word, to believe that word, to do that word, that is where we benefit from his word. That is why the Bible tells us that uh, we should not be uh, the hearers, but we are supposed to be the doers of the word. I know many of us, God has spoken severally. God has revealed many things in our lives. But we are yet to see the manifestation of that word. One thing that you are supposed to know is that God has not ceased. He is still committed to work upon his word. Bible says that he cannot send his word and return to him void. Are we together? The way we, are, we have received rain for the uh, few days that we have experienced rain in our nation. And right now, you are enjoying to see what is happening around the environment. Everything is looking good. That is how when we receive the word of God, whenever the word of God comes and uh, we, we relate with that word, we believe that word, we begin to act and to behave as per that word, then we are able to see the result of the word. Now, I know this is a very common scripture to many of us, but I pray that God will help us uh, to understand his, his, his mind and to understand his plan and his purpose Concerning our lives. Take me to 
the next verse uh, of the same book, and uh, God is going uh, to bless us. We know we are aware of this, of, of the case of this woman, and uh, our condition, our situation was not demonic. The situation of Anna was not demonic. But it, it may take many years for you to relate with what Evan is saying until we come to the place of uh, alignment. We come to that place of aligning ourselves with what Evan is uh, desiring to see happen in our lives. This is the time we become uh, the beneficiaries of the word of God. She struggled uh, for quite a while, for many years. But when she was able to realign herself with the will of God, to realign herself with the plan of God, are we together, with the purpose of God, uh, it was not without a challenge. Praise the Lord. It was not without a challenge. So for you to arrive to that place of manifestation, for you to arise, uh, or I mean to arrive to that place of that which God has spoken, turning to, uh, to be a testimony, there are some, there are some andos, there are some temp temptations, there are some testings that you may go through for you to be qualified. So she went through a testing moment, and uh, when she was in a testing moment, she was able to, 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 to pass that test. And now, the very man of God who was rebuking this woman is telling her, go in peace. Go in peace. Why are we not carrying the testimonies of the one that God has spoken into our lives? One, the way we take the ones from the prophets. Are we together? The way we take the ones from the prophets. Uh, the the, 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 the measure of or, or the way you are able to believe or the weight that you take the ones from the mouth of the prophet determines a lot. Determines a lot. Are we together? Determines a lot what will happen in your life. The way you are perceiving the prophet will determine a lot what will happen in your life. Some of us have become victims of circumstances and uh, victims of situations because our relationship with our man of God is not good. Am I talking to us? It's not good. Before we come here, you, you can see the respect that this woman is undressing the man that God and Orende uh, forsaken. On God, I don't want to reject him. But we can see the approach, the way this woman is humbling herself before the man of God. If you can read in the book of 2 Kings chapter number 4, you can see the Shunammite woman. This woman, she was able to understand who Elisha was. Are we together? She never misbehaved at all. Even when she was feeding the prophet, she never took advantage of the prophet. Hey, am I talking to us? She never took advantage of the prophet. Secondly, even when she was relating with the man of God, she and a lot of respect. That is why even when Elisha wanted maybe to relocate to another place, Elisha is asking girls what can be done to this woman. And we can see the, 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 there, was, there was that respect between this woman and the man of God. Even when she was called upon to be requested what must be done in her life. She was standing at the door. And even when the man of God was speaking, she is, <laughs> she is wondering, why is this 
coming now. She's telling the man of God, don't lie to your admin servant. That will be a topic for another day on how to relate with your man of God. Because if you can't relate with your prophet well, if you can't accord the respect that the prophet requires from you, you are disadvantage. Hallelujah. Now, this woman, Anna, she is not retorting. Her heart is right before the man of God. The way she is undressing Eli, Eli was even somehow ashamed, and though it is not written here, Eli is saying now, in that case, if you are not drunk as I perceived, are we together? Don't forget that we are talking about turning the word of God into a testimony in your life. So, any time God speaks, it is within you to carry that word, to take that word, to believe that word, to hold on to that word, to confess that word, to behave that word. Are we together? To behave that word, to associate with that word, to relate with that word, to see the fulfillment of that word. And finally, you will be able to be a carrier of the testimony of the word. It doesn't matter how many years. God will keep on speaking until you come to that place of standing where the word wants you to stand. You perceive everything right. And uh, that is how you will be able to see the testimonies. Kindly take me where we were. I don't want to go this way because it will be another topic where we, we started reading. Where we, we started reading in this, in this uh -huh, book. Now, <laughs> I, I, I read in Swahili because I have a, a Swahili Bible. Dipo Eli akamjibu, akasema, enenda kwa amani na mungu wa Israeli, akujalie haja yako ulio muomba. This is the man of God is speaking to a woman who has already prayed. Praise the Lord. Who has already prayed. Who has already made a vow before the presence of God. Who has already released herself to become a vessel that uh, she was ready and willing to be used by God. Now, the following verse, already the man of God has spoken. The prophet has spoken. So please, every time when you hear the servant of God open is or a mouth and speak over your life. That was not a mystic. That was not an accident. <laughs> Praise the Lord. One man of God, he was, he, he was giving a testimony. He was giving a testimony. He has one of the biggest churches in Africa. And uh, he just spoke. He just spoke and called one of uh, his church members. Uh, he, called, he called that man a pastor. He said, excuse me, pastor, just come. And when that man was called a pastor, the following day, he was sitting in the seats of pastors. And uh, the protocol guys, the ushers, they wanted to remove him from the pastor's seat to go and sit where he used to sit. He said, Papa called me. The man of God called me a pastor and that was not a slip of tongue so i am not going to sit where other members sit i am a pastor because the prophet said so are we together the case was taken to the to the man of god and the man of god had, had no otherwise rather than to commission him to be a pastor and this man turned to be the great man of god are we together now why are we not Coming into the place of the testimonies when God is speak, it is because we take the word of God lightly and we take the messengers lightly. The word says God will never do anything here on earth without revealing it to his servants, the prophets. And whatever the servants of God speak, God does not joke with it. It's us who joke with whatever the heaven is saying. But the moment you discipline yourself and you call yourself a meeting and you, come, you declare any time 
There is a spoken word over my life. I'll never take it lightly. I'll take that word with weight. And I'll stand as per that word. I'll wait upon the Lord to fulfill that word. I'll, I'll declare that word. I'll confess that word. I tell you, that word will give you a great testimony. Are we together? Now, and she said, let your unmaid servant find favor in your sight. She is speaking with all humility. So if the word of God will turn to be a testimony into your life, you must have faith. You must have faith in God. You must have faith in that word. And you must have faith in the prophet. Three, 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 <laughs> three things that you must associate with immediately. The heaven releases the word. You must have faith in God. Have faith in that word that he has spoken. Have faith in the prophet or with the messenger who has spoken the word. Number two, you must be a humble person. Born as if you're a son. Now, this is something that is uh, very, very important. The word says, and she said, let your maid servant find favor in your sight. So the woman went away and hit and her face was no longer sand. One as if you're sand. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me look for, for, for Swahili because Naskia ni kuwa na iyo nema. Naya kasema, njakazi wako na onekibali machoni pako. Basi, huyo mwanamuke akaenda zake, naye akala chakula, wala uso wake, au kukunja mana tena. Kwa nini? Aliamini maana ameuliza na nabia amesema mungu akutane na wewe. Haka amini utaza wa more than 19 years. That has been broken. So for you to turn the word of God into a testimony. When you believe, you behave that word. You behave <laughs> as if you are nursing children already. You behave as if you are married already. You behave as if you have that job already. You behave uh, as if you have been healed already. Even though you are hurting somewhere. And the word has said you are healed. You declare that healing. You behave that healing. And that healing will take its course. So the word of God takes its course course where it has been embraced. Whenever you embrace the word and you behave like it, even if the environment is speaking otherwise, you behave the way the word has said, not the way the environment is saying. Are we together? You behave the way the word has said, not the way your account is dictated. You behave the way the environment, I mean the way the word has spoken, not the way situations are speaking. This woman and she was able to behave like that. She went, she washed her face, she ate food. And I believe from that day, she never mooned. Are we together? She never mooned. Why do we meet ourselves in the place of mooning, even when God has spoken? It is because we are anxious. Anxiety. Anxiety. Can you take me to the book of uh, Philippians chapter number 4 and verse number 6. Quickly. Because if you cannot overcome anxiety, you will live the life of you are up, you are down. You are up, you are down. You're, you're believing the word when it is spoken immediately. The case of this woman, there was no anxiety in her. Bona si son. There was no anxiety in her. <laughs> and I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All manner of anxiety in your life. May it die from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say in the, in the book of uh, Philippians chapter number 4. Philippians chapter is 4. Uh, you can... Put verse 6. 
my my gadget is misbehaving, but I thank God. son. Oh, I think somebody would have helped in Glandis. Meona me metoka toka kwa station. She's more of a trying to put on the screens. Let us arise and be helping. Amen. Now, this is what the word says. Do, do not fret or have any anxiety about anything. About anything. But in every circumstance and in everything. This is amplified version that I'm using. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything. There's one uh, psalm that David has written and he was trying to compare himself with people who do not love God, who do not believe in God, who are not committed to him. And he found himself envying them. He found himself asking God some questions. Even Jeremiah is asking the same. But we can see God was able to intervene and answer a servant that those who are making it away from him, whatever they are trying to do, it is for a short time. Are we together? Sometimes God can purpose intentionally to take you through a process, to take you through a rough road, to take you through some situations because he is molding somebody. He is making you to be somebody. Are we together? There is a kind of life, even if you ask God to give you, you will not give you because that kind of life will spoil you. Because immediately he gives you that life. At Patiyayo Maisha, umearibika. Na ataki uaribike. At Patiyayo Maisha, amekupoteza. Na ataki kukupoteza. Are we together? So he will take you through a process so that even when you are lifted up, <laughs> even when you have all what people die to have, you will still remain humble. Are we together? Let me tell us the truth. There are people today, kunawa to leo, the kind of level of life that you are in, your level uko. Na vile ambavyo wengine unataka kutoka kama njana, kuna mutu saizi, ako very naughty before God, kwa sababu yiyo maisha. Kwa sababu anaiza bandilisha viatu pea tatu. Pea ngapi? Tatu. Ana kanyanga, anaiza tukana kila mtu. Kuna mtu saizi, <laughs> Because, you are imma, because some people are immature. Hato ukiitisha mungu. Gari ya wezi kukupatia. Mana anajua saiku na nyesha utapigia watu matopo kwa barabara wachoke. If there is something that I'm always very careful. Even when I'm driving. When I, 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 I meet a place. Na nione kukona match. Na naeza chafua mtu. Literally. I do stop. Nana ambia yule mutu apike. Are we together? Kwa sababu gani? Nimewe chafuliwa kwa barabara. Nimewe pigiwa matope kwa barabara. On my way home, wengine ni watoto wa shule, and unfortunately, that's primary, I don't know kama ni watoto wafe, but awa ondokangi kwa barabara. So ni wewe wa ondoke, ama usimame wa pike. That's how they are. Now, most of the times, I can, I can even stop. I, I remember another day, I, I, just, I just stopped somewhere. And uh, I had to allow a, a, a little boy, a little boy. Kapito kwa barabara. Kalifrei kakasimama hata kunisalimia. Kakasimama kuniwezia. The boy was very happy. The boy was very happy. Why? <laughs> why, why, why do I do this? It is because there is a, there is, there is, I'm coming from somewhere. Are we together? So, <laughs> it doesn't matter the, the kind of machine that I will be driving, that cannot make me arrogant. 
Nothing can make me arrogant. Nothing can make me to, to feel that I am, I am special. Why? I know where I'm coming from. And still God is, is taking me through some processes. God is teaching me some things. And uh, <laughs> God will not, uh, he will just wait until you come to that level. That is why the Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter number four, as long as the hair is a child, he has no difference from the slave. Tunaleano. As long as aunja koma, whatever you need in life, utapimiwa, itawekwa kwa guardians and trustees until you mature. It doesn't matter how, 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 <laughs> how, you, how much you love your children. As long as awaja koma, atakama mfanyikazi ni mudogo kwa mwili kuliko wao. Because they cannot manage themselves. Am I talking to us? And that is, that is where many of us are. We are carrying, we are loaded with a lot of promises, but we are not seeing the manifestation of the promises of God. And God is a long-suffering God. He can wait. Even if it's 20 years, you will wait until you come to the place of realization. Are we together? So when you come into the place of realization, you see what God is seeing. Am I talking to us? You see what God is seeing and your greatest desire, it is to meet the need of God. So when Anna matured up, she never asked of anything of her own. She asked that which heaven meant. God will release money into your hands you will release resources into your hands. You will release what you are desiring to have. Then day you will be kingdom minded. Ukitisha vitu vya ufalme. Kwanza. Na muzigo wako na sile ya pretense. Muzigo wako mkubwa uwe ni ufalme. I tell you the truth. God will not hesitate to do. You will not hesitate to lift you up. Now, the one says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything. Tell your neighbor, be anxious for nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. On Friday, I was, I was just from a place and... Uh, as I was passing, I saw somebody that I knew, and uh, she told me, hey, mom, we mtu onge angi zako. Nimuliza, why? Waka niendi ya leo, nilikuwa nakutaja. Nimuliza, ulikuwa unanitaja kivipi? She told me, I was telling somebody that it is you that God used. This person... <laughs> Who was telling me th this? She, she, uh, she had already backslidden, but she was telling me I was telling someone that you're the one who taught me on how to pray. You're the one who taught me the ways of God. You're the one who taught me, uh, and the statement that she used me and it humbled me. She, she, she was telling me I was telling her you're the one who made me to be the way I am. And here I was just paradoxical. So, I started talking to, to her. And why did you leave God? You've, you've left God. And you need to come back. And so, as I was talking to her, there is a statement that she told me. Because I, I saw <laughs> she, was, she was pregnant. And I asked her, I can see you are progressing. I can see you are doing what? You are progressing. Uh, is it? Did you find another man? Oh, it is the same man. The father of your firstborn. Can you be an yule yule? Oh, mulirudiana. Eh, okay, that's nice. Now to cut a very long story short, she told me I have been waiting to have this second child 
but I was not conceiving until I told God, you need to do something. Shortly, I wanted to go and see Angaino, but I, I decided to believe God. So, she wanted to know if after giving birth, how long is she supposed to stay, not to come to church, how long is she supposed to stay before going to the place of work? And I told her, you don't need even to stay for many days. You need to give birth and the following day you go to the place of work. <laughs> Are we together? She told me that is impossible. How? So I, I, I gave her my testimony. And uh, the other one who was there was listening. Another came and they were listening. And that is how the three of them, the three of them, they had to close the, their, their shop and they received Christ, the three of them. Are we together? The three of them, they knelt down and one of them, by the grace of God, the one of knowledge, the one of knowledge, she started to work. So she started to cry. And this who was telling me, nobody mentions you because she knew the story and the history, which I never even asked. They were the two of them, the, the two of them, they were crying. As I was talking to that lady, Uyunai Mungine, she was helping her to cry. And that is how the three of them, they gave their life to Christ. Why? Already, there was a word that God had spoken unto my life. And that word had turned to be a testimony. Are we together? So whenever the word of God turns to be a testimony into your life, it becomes very easy to reach others and you become a living testimony. I said you become a living testimony. And this uh, moment I want to declare whatever the Lord has ever spoken unto your life, uh, whatever prophecy has ever been released into your life, uh, may it turn to be a testimony because when the word of God turns to be a testimony, the name of God is glorified uh, through your life and in your life. Uh, and now I came to tell you you should not be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known to God I say let your request be known to God when this woman appeared in the mountain of the Lord and she asked her for the, for the, for the, for the child she was able to do the description of what God needed when you carry the description of heaven, of what God is desiring to be done. I want to tell you, you become the right material for God to work with in your generation. I said you become the right material for the Lord God to work with in your generation. When she went, the Bible says uh, when she, 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 she received that word from the man of God, Eli, she went, Alienda Aogana Kakula and uh, the following verse uh, she went knew her husband and she became pregnant. If you read in the book of in the book of Genesis, we can see also Sarah asking a question. Who would have tell Abraham? Nani angeli muambia Abrahamu ya kwamba Sarah angeli mpatia mtoto wa kiume katika siku zake za uze. So, what made this possible? It is the word that came away. It is the one that the angels of God spoke and they said next year, during the time of life, Sarah shall have a son. I came to speak to you that the word that the Lord has spoken concerning your destiny is hanging in your realm. I said that word is hanging in your realm. That, that which God has spoken concerning your marriage, concerning your health, concerning your career, concerning the work of your hands. That one is waiting for you. I said that one is waiting for you to take action. I said it is waiting not for your pastor. Your pastor spoke. With you. Not, not for your mother, not for your husband. God spoke. God spoke. He is waiting for you to come into the place of action and you ask yourself the right question. The four lepers ask themselves the right question they said why stay here and die why 
why stay here and die? And I came to challenge you. Why stay in the place of doubt? And, 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 and you continue in that place. Or you continue in that situation. You need to arise and you release yourself as a vessel. I said that you release yourself as a vessel. The Shunammite woman was told by Elisha next year, time like now. She saw as if it was practically impossible. But that word came to pass. Why? She had already interacted with the man of God. She had already done and best. Her sacrifices was speaking. So something else that will convert the word that has been spoken over your life into a testimony. It is your level of commitment to God and your sacrifices in the kingdom. I said and your sacrifices in the kingdom. A time comes and the Lord summons you for having kept or for having given your sacrifices. He says call unto me people who have made a sacrifice, who have made a covenant with me by their offerings. So your sacrifices I send your sacrifices it is a key thing to turn every word that the Lord God has spoken over your life to become a testimony. I seem to become a testimony. Time came when that, that the window in the book of Second Kings chapter number 4 when she was in crisis when she was in a situation that she needed intervention. She went to the prophet. Oh my goodness. I pray that from today your relationship with the prophet will not be wanting. Are we together? This window she goes to Elisha and tells Elisha a situation. You know my husband was a reverend. You understand the story. And now uh, I have a crisis. He owed someone some amount of money and this person has come to take my two sons as slaves. And Elisha asks her, what do you have? This woman, she could not see anything that she had. But I thank God she realized she had some, uh, some oil in her house. And she, had, she says, I have nothing but a bottle of oil. She was given an instruction. She was given a word. She was given a command. Go, borrow many vessels. Go, borrow many vessels. A miracle was in that word. Tell your neighbor, your miracle is attached to the word. Your miracle is attached to the instruction. Your miracle is attached to that command that you receive. But what do we do when we receive commands? When we receive instructions? When we receive directions? We just take them lightly and that is how we are bought. Tell your neighbor, whenever you take the word of God lightly, it is like someone who has conceived and intentionally you are purposed. You have decided to do an abortion. Uh, are we together? Wacha nuambie. Kwa afya mimba kwa kiro diyo kukoju kuliko kwa afya mimba kwa mambaya mengine. Right now what God has spoken, if you don't go and do something about it, that is why Jesus is talking about the sower who went to do what? To sow seed. At the end, akarushas, vingine kwa barabara, what happened? Deke ambaye nisembo ya shetani alikuja akanyakua. That was just an abortant word. Now some of us, you have been constantly aborting the word of God. Constantly aborting the promises of God. Can you lift up your right hand and say, Father, I pray from today, I'll take the word with the weight so that I'll turn every word into a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. This woman, she was told, go borrow many vessels and go shut the door behind you with your two sons and begin to put or to pour oil <laughs> in those vessels. That was turning the word into what? Into a testimony. So, <laughs> converting the spoken word into a miracle. Tunaleano. 
So she, she was crazy. She was crazy. And when she went and started pouring, her work was to pour. I believe she was, she was even speaking in tongues. She never wanted to know what will happen. Hey. Is here testimony ya late Idaosa. Akwa na pot mambo mengi kwa nyumba na akaambia mama kwa ile pot. Ile pot. Ile nyama unataka tukule kwa nyumba utakuwa tu unaingisha mkono kama ni fish unataka hiyo siku ndio umeregister unatoa. Unatoa fish. Kiamua tukule kuku unaingisha mkono na usijiangalie. Usifanye nini? Usiende kushungulia kazi yako ni kuingisha nini? Mkono. <laughs> they did that. They, they ate meat for many days. Mama alikuwa na akiamua leo tunataka mbiff anaenda tu anaingisha mkono. Natoka na na pieces za mbiff. Kiamua hiyo siku ingine ni samaki na ni zile anataka kumoja akawa furious kaamua kuangalia basi Are we together na ikawa ndio mwisho wa, wa kukula nyama ambazo ni za miujiza tunaliana curiosity kwa hivyo huyu mama hakutaka kujua kazi yake alikuwa mmoja anampatia chombo kazi yake ni kuweka shaka talabala anaambia huyu mama imejaa mwingine ni wa kuondoa until the last vyote vyombo zilipojaa akarundi kwa nabii akamwambia zimejaa zote is not recorded but she went to give the information then she was told go and sell pay your debts and then you can use the other that is how she was able to come out of that situation i want to tell you what is making you to cry right now what that thing requires it is the word but when the word is spoken what do you do with the word uliza mwenzako even after this what will you do with this word ama utaenda tu kulilalia vile vile haleluya am i talking to us so god is looking for men and women that can believe in him that can believe in his word <coughs> imagine Mary wanapatana na Gabriel a teenager 12 years old and anasalimiwa na salamu ambazo si za kawaida and she was wondering what kind of greetings are this then she is told that she will conceive and give birth na anaambiwa description za the the, the kind of um, baby that she will give birth to. But she's asking, how will this be possible? Seeing that I, don't, I have not known a man. When she was told the, the mind of God and the intention of God, she decided to believe. And the Mwenzako decided to believe. Did you see when a kicha to your kwamini mu? You just believed. Umuamini tu. Because you cannot be the first case for God to fail to do his word. You may go through some processes that you don't like. But I want to tell you, if you decide to believe, it shall come to pass. It shall come what? To pass. One woman of God was giving me a testimony last week. She was telling me that She's always crazy. Whenever God says something, she will just believe. And now she was telling me, uh, she needed a car. And someone sold, it, sold her a car. And they had an agreement that she will pay in installment for 10, <coughs> for 10 months. But this guy who sold her, that car decided to change. The agreement. Now, come on, be a little within five months. So the woman, she was somehow, uh, she she had no finances. Now you mutu ame msumbua likuwa me bakisha around five hundred thousand. She went outside country. She reached there. 
she told me what she was blessed with. She converted to Kenyan money. It was around 30,000. Kufika to airport. Message ya kwanza ambayo ilingia. Ni huyo njamaa. Simu ya kwanza ambayo ilingia. Ni huyo njamaa. Jamaa wacha mtukani. Na before 10, called and told her, amuandikia barua. So she wrote, akambia mungu mjambo moja kwanza mwenye ya nanisumbua ni fulani. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Kina njina alikuwa na muita such as mention. Ni fulani. Cut a very long story short when she came, she was so discouraged. Because this guy, alimwambi litoroka na gari yangu, blah, blah, blah. And uh, she went, uh, when she arrived home, alienda akanjirusha kwa kitanda, kikiwa naambia mungu, what next? Na alipo ifika yon jamaa alimuambia kujia gari yako. Zahabu jamaa alimuambia na kujia gari. But she was telling me, someone called. Na akamuliza, wapi nimekua ni kikitafta, blah, 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 blah. Akamambia niko sikuwa, but now I am around. <laughs> Alipo kuja, alimpatia 450,000. Simu hiyo ingine alipigiwa, akapatiwa more than 50,000. Kwa na niambia, alikuwa na uliza ni sangapi tutakucha, ati huyo njamaa, pesa yake. Are we together? Then, she designs again, ah, uh, Anambia watoto wake, uh, ata, ataenda na omo mbasa, ata wapeleka maala kwa hoteli, and uh, ata walipia ndege waende. But an assignment was in the house of God. She designed them to do the assignment in the house of God, and she told the children, because of the way situation is, tutaenda na FDR, na ata wapeleka kwa antio ni maala flani. She was telling me while the end of our total mongeleshi or barabara. Even when they went to the auntie's place, they could not talk to her. But anyway, they went. She was telling me on her arrival. The following day, someone called. Amwambia. There is vow that I am vowed to my God that when I retire, I will be in this again. So I have retired. I've received all my benefits. Uh, and my, my, my shares zile ambazo ni meuza. And right now, where are you? Just tell me your account number. There are some transactions I want to do. The Lord has led me to put in your account 1.2 million. The woman of God was just jumping, 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 jumping. So our daughter asks her, why are you jumping? Why are you all over? Mwambia what God has done. She told me, Sichama wako wali mwambia, go and send your pastor. They went, bought a new car. Yo wali panda na yo kutoka, kutoka Mombasa, wali panda na yo. Why? Already, if she tells you where she is coming from, she was telling me, I always wonder when somebody comes and tells me, I need the grace that you have, just speak, I wonder I receive it. Na niambia na wangalianka na sema hawa wajii ni metekelezea wapi. This is, this thing, it is not without a price. It is not without a cost. Are we together? It is not without a cost. But when you are paying the price, when you are in that process, you may lack nothing to show. But when he purposes to come, are we together? When he decides to come, you will just see a manifest in your life. David is saying, I waited upon the Lord patiently and he heard me and he hankered to my prayer. So I came to tell you with something else that you need to convert that spoken word of God into a testimony, tangible testimony. It is your prayer. You need to be a woman of prayer. I said you need to be a woman of prayer. You should pray when you are seeing results. You should pray when you are not seeing results. You should pray at all times. I said you should pray at all times.
times. Uh, you shouldn't pray when you are walking. You shouldn't pray when you are driving. You shouldn't pray when you are cooking. You shouldn't pray even when you wake up from your sleep. Uh, may you meet yourself in the environment of prayer. I said may you meet yourself uh, in the environment of prayer. As long as you are praying focused uh, and you pray in line with the word of God. I came to tell you and they will come uh, and you will realize uh, the investment that you have made of prayer. It has affected your generation. It has affected your lineage. Uh, keep on praying. Uh, I said keep on praying. Uh, prayer will break barrenness in your life. Uh, it will break the cord of poverty in your life. Uh, it will break uh, every force that is following your life. Uh, it will realign your destiny with the will of God. It will realign your dreams and your visions uh, with the will of God. It will realign your family with the will of God. I said pray. I said pray. Lift up your hands. Say Father, release the grace of prayer and supplication. Release the grace of prayer and supplication. So I came to tell you tonight, uh, ah, God is not deaf uh, that he cannot hear you. I said his ears are not deaf uh, that he cannot hear you. Pray and pray until you pray. Tell your neighbor, pray and pray until you pray. Let prayer become your lifestyle. I say, let prayer become your lifestyle. I say, let prayer become your lifestyle. Don't permit, don't allow any situation to separate you from the altar of prayer. When you meet yourself, you are not asleep. Jump out, jump out of your bed and go somewhere. May you identify your closet even in your house. You see, some of us, you don't have a place that you call your closet. You should have a meeting point with your God. Even the angels are rejoicing. God himself is rejoicing. He knows she is going to a closet. He is, she is going to a meeting point, to a meeting place with me. Go there. Even if you don't have anything to say, begin to shakata satabala bahanda. For that, or, or, or even one hour, go back to your bed. You may not know what you have said, but he knows what you have said. I said you may not know what you have said, but he knows what you, what you have said. I, I love one woman. Oh, I don't know where she went, but, but those years I, I know she, she relocated to, from our town to Nakuru. <laughs> People and given her a name, Mama Samosa, because after Grace Hour, you could see her run to her house and come out with a, with a, with a bucket full of samosas. And she was a woman of faith. She was living in a single room. And she was telling me, <laughs> I was just a simple girl those days, few years, less than 20 years. But she was telling me, one thing that I know, before I leave this town, it is the big truck that will carry my things from my, my, my house. And uh, she, she was always dreaming of having an, a nice car to go and do it nursing. So she would come where I was staying and uh, we, would, we, would, we would share the word of God. And I like this one thing that she told me this is my habit. Sometimes I can sit in my house and I sit in my sofa <laughs> and uh, it will depend with what I want God to do. So she would either sometimes put a stool there and tell God, just come and sit here today. Uh, I don't want you to be comfortable in my sofa so that we can have a dialogue. Depending. So <laughs> She would tell me we would have a conversation with God for more than 30 minutes. Yeah, na muita na na mimi amekuja. Na muuliza sasa Mungu naona aje. This is your girl. Can you see? She would just no kneeling down, no lifting hands, but talking. Anja funga macho. Are we together? 
Anjafunga macho, anaketi na anamuita na anamini ya kwamba mungu amefanya nini? Amekuja. Na wanaongea. Na kiongea sasa anamambia thank you. Na anacho akicheka kwa nyumba. Anamini wameongea. That is the eye level of, are we together? Another one, as I wind up, when we started church, I started with only two ladies, a fellowship of ladies, of the daughters of Christ, only two. And I realized that uh, <laughs> one was, was not married. Those days I was being with the, with the marriage. So, before we start uh, the inclusive one. And I was using mic and the small instrument that we had. So we were living in the same area. And as we were walking, she asked me, is it possible for someone to live a life without debt? I told her, yes. I told her, yes. You can live debt free. Because the Bible says you shall not borrow from anyone, but you shall lend to all. And she was wondering. She was working, but she was borrowing from one individual to pay another. And when I exposed her into the word of God and into faith, she got mad. And she was tired with our situation. She wanted whatever God was saying to be a testimony. So she told me when we were coming from the fellowship the other day, uh, the, the coming week, she told me, hear this. I went into my house and I applied the word. So I wanted to hear. She told me I went and I called the devil. I told the devil, come from wherever you are. And I believe the devil has come. She told me I went to my bedroom. I told the devil, whatever is in this room, pick it and come out. She gave the devil some minutes to pick whatever was there. She took the devil to the bedrooms of the children. She took the devil to, the, to her kitchen. Every room. Then to our table room. And then she told the devil from today, never ever stop, step into this house. And she declared the blood of Jesus and she believed that our, our life, our children's life was devil free. Do you hear that? After that incident, God was able to release divine ideas. She was able to understand what was lacking in the lives of people in our estate. She started to supply. Do you hear that? For the first time, she was able to refill a gas cylinder that had been packed for four years. Four years. Do you hear that? Walipo, watoto walipo ona. Chakula imepatikana na wanapika na gas na kuka. Hey, wakasema mungu wamekuja. Mungu wamefanya nini? It never took one year. That woman, even as we speak, she is a lad lady at Ruiru. Do you hear that? God shifted her life. Why? She took the word with a lot of weight and she worked on that word. She cultivated on that word. So you need to come to the level where you are brooding over the word of God. Even if something wants you to doubt, you refuse to doubt. You say, but God said, but God said, but God said, but God you said. That is how you reach to the level of manifesting that which God has spoken. Are we together? Anna, she came in the very chapter and she is bringing a miracle. She is presenting that which was spoken into a tangible thing. So God is expecting what he has spoken even today that coming Sunday you come with a product of tangible thing of what he has spoken. You come out of this place jobless by Sunday you are testifying here that I have a job. You come out of this place being paint with something that is very literal. By Sunday, you are, you are coming in here with a testimony of promotion. Am I talking to us? And may the good God stir you up. 
Nasema Mungu anze kukoroga akili kila kitu kuanzia leo. Ya kwamba hata nini ama nini ifanyike it will be very hard for you to doubt what God has spoken. Ya kwamba utajiona vile hivyo neno limesema. <laughs> Ukijiona vile hivyo neno limesema you never see yourself down. You never see yourself unmarried. You never see yourself having no children. Naliani. Utaanza maana utawaona. Utaanza. Utawaona. Utaona utaona maisha yako. Utaona pale Mungu anakupeleka. So wewe hautaishi kile ambacho kiko ama kile ambacho haukuwa utaishi kile ambacho Mungu amesema. Sasa hapo ndio watu wataanza kukuona ukiwa crazy. <laughs> Are we together? Yeah, it, it, Immediately God spoke about about my calling, about my, my my marriage, about my children, about my ministry. That is the time I started to live that life. I went and I told my colleagues, from today, never call me Florida. Call me Mama So and So. No Kinita Florida na Nyamaza. Mana nilikuambia my new identity. Are we together? Tunaleano wapendwa. Vitu simama wengine wanaanza kuona kama amand but i'm not mad kwa hivyo anza kuishi vile Mungu amesema ndivyo ulivyo are we together be a practitioner of the word of god hata leo hii ukiamua ku practice unaenda kama umechoka kutembea miguu every night unaenda unaketi kwa kiti na unagurumisha gari yako Tunaeleana si ndio uko na funguo za nyumba. Tunasema sasa what kind of madness is that? It is a crazy word. Until that word becomes real. Unaenda una start, unaweka ngia. Then hata wewe mwenyewe unaanza vu 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 vu. Una una drive na unafika kazini. Pia nasema sasa mtu kama mimi. Bible says the word of the cross is foolishness to those that are perishing, but it is power. Are we together? You want family? <laughs> Even when I was living in a in a in a single room, I I I could divide that single room from the realm of the spirit. Na tengeneza some breakfast na nikangu. Lakini sioni kakiwa kangu that is the family breakfast. Naenda bedroom ya kwanza, na naamsha mtoto wa kwanza, naenda ya pili na waamsha alafu tunaketi hapo. Na naambia acha tubariki breakfast na ni mimi nakula. Are we together? So go and whatever you want to happen in your life, go and practice it from tonight. Go and do what? Practice it. Practice. Practice that which you want. Njione hivyo. Ambia mungu nipe macho nione vile ambavyo na staili kuwa. Behave like that. And talk like that. Saturate your environment. Usiambie midhogodhani ambayo itakuweka doubt. Saturate your environment. Ukienda kabla ya kulala, unaambia wengine mbaye good night na unawaagi. Unaagi kale ka kwanza, ka mbili, ka tatu, unaambia good night. Utasema hivyo miaka miwili. Kwa sababu Mungu ataona wao huyu anaishi hayo maisha tayari. Ameyaona. Are we together? Nua mikono yako. Pray that the Lord will cause you to turn whatever he has spoken into a, into a miracle, into, into, into a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and may you behave like, like Mary. Say, let it be so, Lord, to your admit servant. Uh, let it be so. Let it be so as you have said. Uh, let it be so as you have spoken in the name of the Lord. Leave that word. Speak, uh, uh, speak that word. Behave that word. Rapazokatazota. Lepakato. 
There is something disturbing you. There is something disturbing you. There is something in your body. Reject, refuse it. In the name of the Lord, whatever is not matching with the standards of the world, whatever is not reflecting what God has said, reject it and ignore it from today. In the name of the Lord, Father, we are grateful. We bless your name. We exalt you and we magnify your beautiful name. Be exalted. Lift those hands of yours. Father, I declare activation of whatever you have spoken concerning these wonderful children of yours. Let them be activation. Let them be manifestation of every word concerning their worship, concerning their call, concerning their marriage, concerning their, their, their destinies, concerning their finances, concerning their businesses, concerning their careers, concerning their the fruit of their home. I declare from this night uh, that things are changing from good to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Somebody say amen. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Uh, celebrate the King of Kings. Uh, our online church believe uh, what God has ever spoken and uh, begin to behave it. Begin to believe it. Begin to, uh, begin to do that which will activate the manifestation of that word and God is going to do you good. God bless every one of us. Shalom, shalom, shalom from the King's House. We are meeting here tomorrow in the morning to uh, in our morning glory. We call it taking our destiny by force. We have the miracle service and we have the grace hour. Let us tune uh, that time and God is going to bless us. Amen and amen, amen, amen. You may have your seat kindly, briefly. Let us. Uh,